Hello and welcome to Mac Alive. Today we're going to talk about burning video files to DVDs that will work in any DVD player doing this project on your MacBook or your iMac. So you have a video file, whether it's a movie, a home home movies, or whatever the case may be, and you want to burn it to a DVD player or burn it to a DVD that will play in a standard DVD player, you're going to have to do a few things. The first thing you're going to do is you need a program called Burn. And I'm going to post a link to this page here in the description of the video. You folks can find yourselves here. And you want to download it, the 64-bit version here. And then it's going to take you to the SourceForge page to download. And the download is going to start automatically. And you just download this uh, software here. Now once you have the software, it's going to come to you in a folder looks like this. If you open it up, you got some documentation, some text, and here's the application itself. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your applications, open this back up, and you're going to want to slide that over in here. I've already done so, so we'll just go ahead and get out of there. And then what you're going to want to do is go to your launch pad. If you have a lot of software like I do, you got to type in burn. We're going to open it up. So there's our uh, application that we're going to use to burn the, the video file to a DVD. Now here's a movie called Sin City. And um, we're, I want this on DVD because I'm going to use it as a backup for the garage because I have a small studio, small, small, like a, I don't know, it's like a game room type stuff and my friends come over and I don't want to take my, my original DVD out there, I'm afraid it to get scratched or whatever. So we need to do a couple things. We're going to slide this over here. Would you like to convert this file to MPEG? That's what it's going to look like. We do. So let's go ahead and go to our uh, preferences first. We want to go to video. And you're going to have to, uh, if you're uh, United States, you're going to have to set this to NTSC. And if you're in Europe, you want to set it to PAL. America, NTSC. From there. So let's go ahead and we'll slide this over now. It's going to ask us to choose a directory to create the MPEG. And we're going to choose our desktop. Go ahead and choose that. It's an encoding the file right now. You see it pop up over here? So this could take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes depending on your system and your system specs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video until this is over with and I'll get right back with you. Okay, now we're back and you can see here that it converted the uh, video to MPEG-2 and it is 3.97 gigabytes and now we're ready to burn the uh, movie to a disc. So if you're in question about what disc you need, I'm going to post this link here in the page as well in the description of the video and this gives you a good idea of the type of specs that you're going to want on your DVD. For example, you want it to be a DVD negative R and it has to be 4.7 gigabytes and um, along with some other features here and it's nice to have them, the burn speed up to 16 times but we will never use 16 times uh, burning here. So now that we have our disk, we want to go ahead and just insert it into our drive. And um, it'll take just a moment here to fire up, and then we're going to burn it to a uh, DVD. And once you do this, you'll be able to uh, play it in any uh, standalone DVD player hooked to your televisions or whatever the case may be. So it's going to open up this dialog here. You inserted a blank DVD, choose an action. Just go ahead and ignore that, and now we'll go ahead and burn. And we want to choose our speed. It's always good to burn at about half of what the uh, disc will allow. So it's a 16 times disc. Let's go ahead and burn at 8. And the reason we want to be in the middle somewhere is so that it gets done in a reasonable amount of time. But also, at a lower speed, you have a better uh, chance of not having any type of burn failures. So I'm going to go ahead and start to burn. And I'm going to pause this until, we, uh, until it finishes. And um, it generally takes just a few minutes. Okay, well we're back and um, as you see here it's uh, burning the untitled video 
and um, it's closing the session now and um, it should pro prompt you to um, use uh, QuickTime but we'll see what happens here okay let's see what happens you hear the burner wind up and here has our DVD video it's going to open up QuickTime as you see here it had a bit of a menu and we can hit start I'll go ahead and escape out of here and you see it started playing so that's just how easy it is to uh, burn a video to DVD using a uh, MacBook or an iMac or a Mac Pro something else I want to show you about the software here is if you ever have any questions you can always uh, click the question mark here well it didn't bring the dialogue up there it goes brings up a help center by clicking this question mark here gives you some tutorials on how to do certain things certain settings and etc um, this was just a quick run through you could have uh, we could have named the uh, video We could also use the DVD theme, or not use the DVD theme. See, we could have added other video files to it. And that's going to do it for me. Well, folks, I hope you found the video to be somewhat helpful. If you've been looking around at trying to do this, um, please subscribe. If you can, follow me on uh, Google+. Thank you, and you folks have a great day.